Hello and welcome to Let's Play Space Cats Tactics with me, Bring It Dawn. Space Cats Tactics was both developed and published by Mitzi Games and released on July 24th, 2023. It's a turn-based space sim with cats. And since this game includes three of my favorite things, space, cats, and tactics, I think we're in for a good time. So let's start a, <laughs> a Mew game. I didn't see that before. Let's see what it's all about. It is the year 2635. Mankind has started genetic trials on felines. Their goal is to make them smarter and stronger for personal gain. Ultimate super soldiers bred to fight greed-fueled battles for corporations. Ever since then, they have been used as slaves, fighting meaningless wars, often forced to kill their own kind. After years of oppression, a revolution began. The cats fought bravely against their creators, and finally, a peace treaty was signed. For the first time, these super cats could assimilate into society. But the scars are far from healed. Even now, they're outsiders, inferior, outcasts of the community. You are Mitzi, a former soldier who has found himself in economic trouble. In order to survive, he has turned to a life of smuggling and piracy. You received an offer for a vast amount of credits from a mysterious high-ranking militant. The objective is simple. Smuggle the curiosity and advance ship to the far outer reaches of the galaxy. But it won't be easy. The government is already hot on your tails. You and your second-in-command, Bisky, have to do everything you can to escape their clutches. So a few things already. Press any key to skip cat soon. And also, we're in a ship called the Curiosity. And Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love this game. Good. You managed to steal the curiosity. You don't have much time. You need to warp out fast. Down curiosity, setting coordinates, calling reinforcements. That drone has short range. We need to get some distance from it. Where uh, are the flight controls? Okay, so typical camera controls. Press on the move button. Right mouse click cancels the selected action. Let's see what all we have going on here. So there's our two crew members. It's a Mitzi, or Commander Mitzi, sorry. Specialization rooms, a chance for free action, bridge, energy weapons. It's not assigned to a room currently. Bisky, second in command, specialization rooms, a chance for free action, engines and cargo. Okay. Credits, used to buy stuff. Research points, used to upgrade your ship. Open inventory and equipment menus. Open research tree. A whole integrity and shields, pretty straightforward. Scan an object to reveal more information on it. Scan enemies take more damage. Uh, six action points, range 10. Then warp out. Can't hover over that yet. This. Convert remaining action points to shield. Okay. And end turn. Exactly. Now try flying to that spot marked with an arrow using your left mouse button. That's not enough. Can't she go any faster? She will if you or Bisky will overload the engine. Send someone to the engine room. Well, then it's time to send that stupid good-for-nothing excuse for an officer to the engine room. Aw, oh, Bisky. Bisky, go overload the engine room. Yes, Commander. 
at once. Switching active rooms costs one action point. Press on the end turn button. Good. Now press the spacebar button to go inside the ship. Select me by clicking my button on the left side. Right press click. Commander on the ground inside the engine room. Okay. Commander. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. At once. Now we can cover twice the distance. What about guns? You will need to send someone to the energy weapons room. Let me handle it. Great. You can save crew configuration and recall it later with the A, B, C, D. Crew configs let you quickly send your crew to their favorite positions. All right, that is a familiar mechanic. I would recommend saving A with a crew member in guns and B with a member in cargo. Good. Now press the spacebar button to go outside the ship. You can also just zoom out, it looks like, but... Now get in range and press the attack button to destroy the drone. Destroy him, Commander! Boom! Such colors! Commander, I think we should pull in those resources with our tractor beam. Press the tractor beam button. Now press on the object you wish to pull. It seems we have a cargo box in our cargo room. You can only use items while having someone in the cargo room. Bisky, get over there. But if I don't take care of the engine, we'll fly much slower. Your cat pinion is noted. Now go. <laughs> Commander. Yes, sir. You can manage items by pressing I. You can equip items by pressing C. Right mouse click uses an item. All right, so when you change configurations, they don't have to run back. They teleport. So that is very convenient. Well, I guess it is turn-based. It's not real time with pause, so it's not... Don't play as big of a role. Armor plating gives additional 10% to hull. Fine. We will need to activate the warp drive to escape the system. We have a small problem about that, Commander. Uh, what is it, Bisky? It seems that we've run out of perineum to start the warp <laughs> engine. And also, long-range sensors are picking up two ships warping on us. This is a complete catastrophe. <laughs> there should be some perineum in some of the asteroids. Finally! You are not completely useless. Let's try to blow them before the ships find us and take back the curiosity. Let's read the descriptions here. So, moves the ship at the cost of action points. Fire energy weapons, cost 4 action points, range 6, damage 85 to 130 per hit. A fire beam weapon in an arc. Uh, six action points, range six. Damage continues. Uh, cool down four turns. And the tractor beam, 
pull objects to the ship's cargo, cost two action points, range 10. So they collect three. I want this as well. That's it. We've collected enough peranium. Let's get the hell out of here. Bisky, hit the warp engine. And away we go. jump over here to have to stick to the star lanes. It's like we have to stick to the star lanes. Alright, so we're at Seoul. We're going to... Is that Kathfa Centauri? <laughs> Good job. You managed to escape the system. You had any doubts about my skills? Skills? We escaped by the fur of our teeth. Shut it, Bisky. It was under control. All right, that's enough for me. Don't forget, your main objective is to reach the Cthulhu system. <laughs> I wonder if I can run out of puns by the end. You should probably collect some supplies and get better at piloting this ship. By the way, I forgot to mention, some of the ship's rooms have different tactical modes. If you go inside of the ship and click on a room's name, you will see. After that, it's just a matter of selecting with a left mouse click your preferred mode. Dalgabot, out. Bisky, run a quick scan of this area. I'm detecting a distress call coming not far from here. Also, there's a derelict ship in a gas cloud nearby. This gas cloud is flammable. We should be extra careful not to destroy the derelict ship or ourselves. Or should we? So there's only the one mode currently. Double movement range per turn. Cargo, nothing there yet. I'm gonna read all these descriptions as well. The engine room handles movement of the ship. Cargo, lets you store items, use consumables such as repair kits, and equip additional ship modules. Reactor, handles energy and shields of the ship. A double passive and active recharge rate of shields per turn. Energy weapons room handles energy web sorry energy based offensive weapons of the ship allows the usage of a tractor beam to pull objects and a beam weapon that deals high damage over time and the bridge control center of the ship handles communication uh, act scanning and hacking typo there 
Allows communication with other ships. Okay. Let's go grab these resources real quick. Uh, we had stuff in our inventory. All right, so shield booster, adds 10% to your max shields. We have an amethyst, sometimes be gifted to purple haired girls. Okay. Oh, and some other boosters. So the shield booster, we got scrap parts can be sold and a shield battery recovers 50% of your shield. All right, so can we equip these currently? Here we go. Oh, but it doesn't fill it automatically. I wish there was a mini map or something so I could more easily navigate. Got an incoming transmission. Now I'm gonna take the call on the bridge. Let me handle it. All right. I'll sign him to C for communication. This is Merchant Ship 101. Our engines are down, and we need help. Ask him what... What are your intentions? Alright, so we can just attack them if we want. Yeah, what do you have in your cargo? Maybe we can make a deal. Well, we are carrying a laser module from Raphael factory, but if we give it to you, this whole trip was for nothing. But if you can't get there, then there is no trip. That's a little too aggressive for my liking, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're a space privateer after all. You don't have a choice. Send it to us. Okay, we're gonna trust you. Lowering shields and transferring cargo to you. Alright, uh, we found your problem. We can remote repair it now. Costs 100 research points. Thank you so much. Here are some credits. Fly safe. Alright, so we also got... Energy Room Beam Focus Mode. Modify the beam in the energy room to shoot or shoot in a focused line. As if I shoot this from here, will anything bad happen? No, because we're in the cloud. Pretty cool effect, though. I like how it... Okay, and it dissipates after. Cool. Alright, 
So this one's not in the cloud. I'm assuming it won't blow up and hit the cloud. Because we also want to explore that derelict ship without destroying it. Right? It looks safe. Hey, free action due to character proficiency. Fantastic. And as soon as we get come into the cloud, we're come under attack. We don't have to fight both of these guys. Or sorry, all three of these guys. Alright, Bisky. I am gonna board that ship. Do we have time? Maybe we can find something useful here. Be careful, Commander. Oh, and Bisky? If you lose the ship, I will come for you. Huh? Oh, look. They still have Peranium left here. Sending it over. You're standing in a hallway with three doors. Ooh. Uh, cargo room, I think, is the most important. If they have any loot left, it would be in the cargo room. Find some equipment boxes. Look inside the boxes. Inside one of the boxes was a weapon upgrade module. Looks a little phallic. Now scan the room again. There's a faint beeping sound from a small vault door in the wall. Bisky, can you try to remote hack this door? Let me see. I'm sorry, Commander. This is way over my level. What the heck, Bisky? Alright, uh, I guess we'll shoot it open. and Hopefully it's not a person behind it. Shoot the vault door. You blast the door open. Ha! The easy way. Inside, you find an unidentified relic. Bisky, check the ship database for any info about this relic. I really don't think we have time. <laughs> Scanning now. There's no info about this item. However, the computer found out something interesting. Apparently, there are a lot of queries regarding relics coming from Aero Station. Good work, Bisky. Happy to help, Commander. You're back at the hallway. Alright, go to the engine room. Commander, I'm detecting some high energy signatures coming from that room. I don't think you should open that room. Yeah, you're right. Walking away. We'll try it again after we get to the engine. Or to the bridge. That was the engine. Alright, go to the bridge. You found the dead crew of the ship. They ran out of air. Search the bodies. You carefully go over each body and search their suit. You found a data log. You're back at the hallway. Alright, back to the ship. Captain Mitzi, sir. You're needed back on the ship. Bisky, what is it? I'm spelunking here. Sir, we have a visitor on the ship. She seems really nice. Where did she come from? Her name is Laura, and she's a scientist, and... Hang on, Bisky, I'm coming back. Keep an eye on her. With pleasure. All right, Stowaway, how'd you get on our ship? Hey, that's my question. I make a great commander, Mitzi. Your ship? How cute. I was busy running final calibrations on the lower deck. Until you thieves decide to steal it. We prefer the term smugglers. Well, I'd prefer a few smugglers returned me and my ship before things get out of hand. Afraid we can't do that. And your name is? Laura G... Um, just Laura. Chief Engineer of the Curiosity. Well, you can call me Captain, then. This bottle of joy here is Bisky. Pleased to meet you again, Laura. Bisky, uh, cut that out. You know, you don't strike me as the slickest smugglers. Is this your first time? I'm surprised you haven't crashed the ship yet. Probably because it's built so well. 
All right, that's enough out of you. Bisky, lock her up in one of these rooms. Let's keep moving. Um, yes, sir. Mitzi, how are you holding up out there? Things are heating up here, doll. We can't seem to shake our tails. The ship is loaded with tracking devices. Get over to Eros and see if you can find someone to remove them. I have a friend there that's good with this kind of stuff. And hey, you're doing great, kiddo. Hang in there. Uh, there's something else, Dal. Uh, we have a bit of a complication. We've got a stowaway. Oh? How curious. Good. What? Dal, I said we have a stowaway. She's an automata scientist that was working on the ship. What do we do with her? Can we just drop her off at Eros? Throw her out the airlock. That's not part of the deal, Dal. I told you we're strictly smugglers. <sighs> Have it your way. Do what you like with her. Wait at Eros for my next instructions. And be a good little kitten. And hurry up. Great. So obviously ships to worry about. What is over here? Another asteroid we can mine. I'll try to do that before we warp out of here. We can warp out right now. As long as they don't break my shields, we will be fine. Whole damage is permanent. So I might be in range to grab all of this loot. Then we can just warp out, right? So, it doesn't cost any action points. As far as I can tell. to Aero Station. First thing I want to do is check out our inventory once we get here. Sir, watch out! Looks like an automata blockade. Figures. Papers, please. Um, well, sir. At Villian. <laughs> well, you see, we don't have, um, I mean, the thing about that is. Tame them, now. I hate that they treat our people this way. Well, it looks like we can't go in from the front entrance. Bisky, find us another way in. Scanning now, sir. Found a back door. Good job, Bisky. This will work for now. All right. More importantly, we have things to check out. All right, so increase the fire rate of energy weapons by 10%. Slap that on. Alright, damage tractor beam parts can be sold. More scrap parts to sell. Hull repair kit repairs 25% of your hull. And damage weapon parts can be sold. 
Oh shoot, I missed this. So hidden cache coordinates number one. This data log mentions the location of a hidden cache. Location has been revealed on the map. Does it mean the um, Star Lane map? I assume that's what it's talking about. Also, if I have to take a look around and make sure there's no loot we can pick up. I doubt it here, but you never know. Can't go any further to the left. Alright, well I'm going to call it here. Uh, next time we will try to enter Aero Station. If we can't get these tracking devices removed. And go from there. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.